nature because like they know the people are scared of the projectiles they know how to beat them out but mm -hmm. that's why that's why they're as good as they are with that character but we'll talk more about duck hunt later when we see zane later on for now we got yoshi and we've got falco the return of tilde and miles has been on a tear as well lately mm -hmm. so this ought to be a fun one so on paper this kind of seems a little bit tricky for falco you can't consistently find a lot of shield pokes. Also, Yoshi is going to be double jumping out of anything that you please. Also, how do you cover such a fast character like Yoshi getting back onto the stage? This feels like it's going to be super challenging on paper, especially since Falco lacks a lot of the shield pressure uh, on, on Yoshi that you would need. Just Yoshi as a unique character removes a lot of uh, Falco's typical bread and butters. But at the same time, I feel it still invites a lot of that air-to-air -air play that wow. Falco has in his kit. Choosing your landings, though, is going to be super important. You saw Miles ready to cover the ledge at that point until they're trying to go for the more defensive option of going to ledge, gets eaten alive for the first stock. Until they, with that one commitment, finds himself in a corner. Miles sat there and waited for it. Miles was like, yeah, what are you going to do? Side B? Absolutely not. And was able to find a good amount of damage as a result. Landing on Falco's shield safely, still going to be able to throw out a button to cover the next option. But a bit of an antsy dash attack mm -hmm. uh, is going to spell the end for Miles, that stock. Like, both of these characters love going on the aggro, and typically speaking, they love navigating the airspace. However, what goes up must come down. So picking out those landings is going to be vital for yep. both of these players. And likewise, trapping those landings is going to be where the bulk of the damage is found. With that patience, Grimtilde is so smart, has the right idea, but maybe a little bit too off on the timing to be able to cover that next option. And the patience, the recognition, and the execution for Miles. Just amazing play. Yep. Really heavy ledge play looks solid. Bleed out the jump, but not able to trace in time. Committing too hard to going to the left. I was moving to the right. That's one thing that I fear for Tilde here is not being able to catch up to Yoshi because mm -hmm. committing too hard to that jump gives them so much space. But you're rewarded if you know how to pick right. Look mm -hmm. at that. Back here from out deep going to be netting the kill. I feel like even though this game, Tilde isn't able to do like a lot of Tilde things, which is like blending people <laughs> from 0 to 60, uh, at least he's like able to get like a lot of wins in neutral and has a really good idea of Miles' next option, especially coming out of the corner or from being juggled. So Tilde's advantage options are so, so smart that even if you can't do the combo game, you can just position yourself and get a lead. Ooh, talking about a reach, did you see the forward air following through the uh, air dodge? So quick. This ledge play is looking so good for Tilde right now. Just catching all of Miles' air dodges. Jumps back onto the stage. That is Miles off stage with no double jump. And Tilde recognizing that Miles did not land onto the platform. Tracked him to his death. That was pristine ledge play. So much damage tracked out. So many resources burnt out. It was really just a matter of keeping those boots grounded until you we were yep. ready to seal the deal. Uh, this, this interaction, I just feel like, was tragic because look at Miles. Look at where, where he is. You would think, you would think that right here he would be able to land onto the stage, but unfortunately, a little bit too far to the side. Yoshi's environmental, uh, what is it? The environmental hurtbox thingy. Uh, not going to be colliding with the platform until they just tracks him. Boop. Yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi couldn't make that. That's, that's just sad. Tough. Yeah, big X with the down air. So the switch to small battlefields. And pink Yoshi. Why? He's been doing that a lot lately. I've noticed in brackets, Miles has been swapping around every uh, color. And you know what's funny? I find what's, every, what's the sauce? Why? Every time I see anyone comment on Miles' play, they don't talk about how unique his combo strings are. They don't talk about how aggressive his ledge play are. They talk about how his color and taste is as. My man gets the raw deal when it comes to top Yoshis, and I feel so bad for him because he is really good, but everyone focuses on, like, the wrong thing. That's yeah. how it is out here, but... <laughs> That's how it is. Miles tries to go for that other up hill, but Tilde just going to be able to get there a little bit sooner with down hill. And now Miles, once again, finds himself in such a good position. Tilde needs to stop that. We are two for two now on punishing out side B with up smash. I was I mean, you see where Miles is waiting, too. He's like, yeah, I know where your hitbox ends. I know where you're going to actually stop. He's just waiting for it every step of the way. So Tilde could have to get back onto stage a little bit more patiently. We're two for two on that as well. Punishing out rolls with up smash. Deja vu, Dara. They're just both playing so well around each other. I love that. Miles falling out of up tilt, presumably because of double jump, or just maybe falling out because multi hits and then d uh, down being. Very funny. Oh, no egg lay, but the juggle's gonna keep on coming along. Tilde's turn, but no damage. Gets that up through. That's just gonna be one, two, 
Oh, two hits. Tries to go for the drag down. But Tildy a little bit too far to the left. Uh, and as a result, not able to find the drag down. But that time, the drag down is successful. Tildy was in the right position in order to be able to find it. Gets that drag down. Is this going to be the kill? Only Sawu Baku. Bit of a shame, but Tilde still on the hunt, just waiting patiently, but committing to that jump. That's what I mean. They do find their mark, but they let go of the ledge because they're anticipating that high off play. Yoshi can't really do much that fast up in the air. Really like the choice to go for, um, you know, new, uh, up B there instead of side B, right? Because it is just going to be like a little bit of a mix-up. That's the position you normally go for side B, and, and Miles is just not ready for that timing. Oh my. No double jump. This Ooh. is it. I don't know how I feel about that down smash. Potentially a misinput. Potentially a misinput. Regardless, Tilde still like staying on the hunt, constantly resetting these situations, not missing a beat on the damage. Yeah, Tilde just still finding all of these follow-ups. Yoshi once again with no double jump, but Tilde not able to finish up, uh, finish chewing his food. Oh. But you know what? Backer does it. All right. The 2-0 for Tilde, looking good tonight. That's a solid win. That's a really good one. I, I, you know, on paper, I really try to play down Tilde a little bit and try to think like, damn, this sounds really good for Yoshi. But I feel like Miles was not able to find a lot of juggles, was not able to find like a lot of low percent follow-ups on, on Tilde. Um, and Tilde was just making all the right leads an advantage. I think the way that, especially that he was tracking off stage, the way that he was uh, constantly stuffing out air dodges was so, so good. Yeah, that's the that's what I wanted to bring up. Yep. And I'm really glad that you mentioned it because I feel like where Tilde was more lacking was the commitments to covering the yep. ledge or covering the airspace, where if he left it off, Miles just landed for free, sometimes found a couple of reversals by yep. way of damage. But when he did wait, when he didn't have to overcommit, you saw it constant resets, constant Miles ledge, is, like constant Miles kept damage. going for a lot of really interesting options um, at the edge of the stage. Put going out double jump in places where Falco still can jump and cover you. Falco jump big. You gotta remember that. 